When you are coding and whatever you are coding, it's important to have a good tool. And one of the most widely used tools is Notepad++. It's the one I primarily use when I'm working on code. And I've been using that throughout many of my series. Now there is a plugin which you can download which will greatly assist you and it's one I use the most. So I thought I would let you know about it and it's the Compare plugin. So if you want to use that, go ahead and download that now. Now I have put the link to the download page in the description of this video. So if you get that, go ahead and download it. And then what you want to do is open up the zip. And then what you're going to do is browse to the directory wherever Notepad++ is installed. And it's right here. And then what you do is simply copy that DLL right here, the compare plugin DLL, into the plugins folder right in here. And you can see I've already done that. And let's go ahead and open up Notepad. And you can see here I've got two style sheets. And these are basically identical style sheets. And I removed some code from the first style sheet so you can see how the compare plugin works. So basically I removed the column four class that was in style sheet one, but I kept it in style sheet two. So again, you'll see how this plugin works. So you go to plugins, you hit compare, and then you hit compare again. And you can see right here, it identified that column four that is in style sheet two, but is not in style sheet one. See how nice that is? In red, it identifies, hey, this is the difference between these two style sheets. This style sheet has column four, and it's missing in this style sheet. And basically, it even tells you where it should be in gray right here. So again, if you're using Notepad++ and doing a lot of coding, I highly recommend that you download and use the compare plugin.